Let's go. Part fucking 30, I think. This is actually part 30. Part 30? Yeah, it is. Damn! But part more 30. important. More importantly. I didn't hear the doorbell. Is that a booty call? I'm getting a booty call chapter 5. <laughs> Yoko. Hey. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Yes! Yes! Finally! <laughs> Yoko disappeared in the depths of the darkened hallway. Supposed to go out during nighttime, but I can't not go. Can I take my knife with me? I finally can't. Um. Hey. Sorry for asking you the delay. Okay, I'm used to it. Indeed. So then. Well then, let me get straight to the point. Have you heard of a doujinshi? Or Koa? Shut up. What does it mean? What does that have to do with whatever is he stole from Monokuma? Monokuma uh, told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Is it you? Indeed. That's right. I was right. What did you steal? So... I stole this. A key? But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any other key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key to the, of, of this kind of earth. Where'd you get this? So... From the headmaster's room. What, you snuck into the headmaster's room? But oh, wasn't it locked? However, the lock was broken. What? What? Correct. It was Sakura. Did it for us. He did? Indeed. Remember what she said in her note? I'm not gonna just lay down and die, I will fight you. Was Sakura broken into the headmaster's room for us? That's right. That's right, so that we could uncover whatever secrets may lie hidden within. So she broke the lock before she died. Damn. MVP? I mean, if you're gonna die, fuck it, go, go for it. She violated school regulations, she already decided to die, so let's relax back and find the rules of this place. Indeed. I noticed the room was open after this class trial was over yesterday. If I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why I used you as a decoy. So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order to- Correct. Correct, I wanted to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. And what you told me about yesterday, that come from the headmaster's room too? Yukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, the one they call the ultimate despair. The copy pasta for this game? <laughs> it is a copy pasta. It oh is my, actually. Oh my god. It is the copy pasta. Watch out for her. Did you find out about this Mukuro Ikusaba while you were in there? Indeed. I did find a file in there. The headmaster's room to talk about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but. One thing I do know is that Mukuro Ikusaba is dangerous. Dangerous? In other words... Like Darkwing Duck? No! <laughs> Mastermind? British? <laughs> Alter Ego said that the Headmaster was probably the master. The headmaster was probably the Mastermind? I read this backwards. Whoa. No, the Headmaster isn't the Mastermind, I'm sure of that. What? Not that proof yet, but I have no doubt that I'm right. Makes such, such a strong statement without proof. It's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mukuro Ikusaba really could be the mastermind? Anyway. Anyway, this key is one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what does this key even unlock? So. I don't know yet, which is why. <laughs> I need to draw attention to Monokuma's. Uh, go where I found. Yeah. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't, that's way too dangerous. And you want me to draw us attention, but we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? There's more than one person watching us. Is that right? But they didn't catch us they didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Okay. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was just pure luck. Which is why we're gonna run the experiment one more time. If we're successful again, then what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko Takshi was calm and collected as ever, I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. Hey. If it's true that the Mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, there would be a period of time where the Mastermind is vulnerable. All we need to do is find out if there's actually true, and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but no matter what reward, the risk is just too high. When I think about what might happen if we fail, Why is that? I don't think you worry about need to worry about that much. After all, 
With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Street Academy. <laughs> our restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery, am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. But if the mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world don't matter. You just kill us all without second thought. I see. I see in that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. What? Correct. In a moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words... We gain something that we... whether we succeed or not, there's no reason not to do it, right? But... If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Alright, Makoto fucking stabs himself. Hey, I'm moving Jesus. forward! <laughs> that moment I finally realized, I had never seen the slightest hint of fear and despair in Yoko's eyes. The gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us, and with that in view, just smiled. <laughs> I can't change how I feel, and I wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Oh, what's this? It's true. A letter to Smash Brothers. <laughs> oh, no, only open Cause... it. Never happens to me. Something happens. However, I'm not planning on dying. But there's always a chance of it, and the death without meaning is unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it just because he asked me to. I'm gonna give it back at some point. You can be sure of that. Indeed. Yeah, of course. Hey. Oh, and one more thing. I can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance the Mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that, too. I mean, there's something else? Well... Nothing. Forget I said anything. Can't just forget that easily. So then... Okay, then. Shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. Gotta get Monica's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. Go on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. Like every other time, she moves at a brisk pace as she left. Brisk iced tea. Buy some now for $9.99. Oh, everything's gonna be fine, I know it. Because it's Kyoko. I'm talking to myself when you sick off some of my anxiety. Please stop setting flags for yourself. This is why like 10 people died already. <laughs> Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out of here, I got a bone to pick with you. And a few moments later... Monokuma appears! Oh well, this is a surprise. You're... you being the one to call me out. Hey! Hey! hey by the way... Huh? Most suspicious. Why was that up there? Anyway... What are you... What are you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Just the two of you? In the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and seedy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, so wet and warm. I bet you guys remove to conform with local and international censorship laws. <laughs> <laughs> All over her, didn't you? I'm gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. I'm like you. I have absolutely no interest in late night fasting. Because I like to maintain the healthy life of observation, far away from X rated exploits. Oh, is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Bullseye. Or is it maybe because the lens get all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? I was like, that's the bullseye to me. You need something? Anyway, you went all, all, all that trouble to get me out here. Now what do you want? Oh, well, um... There's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude fella? Actually... But in the bear kingdom, there is no male or female. Oh, uh, actually, there is. Seriously? My entire existence! <laughs> Jesus. That's a voice line! Is it? That's enough. I'll get stuck about- It's not get stuck if I think about it too much. So what do you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What is this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... That's seriously why you dragged me out here to ask me? Unbelievable. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be a hundred megaton freaking kidding me. You're not gonna ask for something useful like how to get the best honey or first sign breeding tips? What? First signs are baby bears. Okay. Mm. This is just crazy. Why are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? What the heck? God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and... <laughs> That's it. 
They censored something very important. What was that second thing? A blank? Stupid. A secret. Fling yourself. Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out. Remember what happened to Junko, bitch? <laughs> Dropping a few more than more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Fucking fucking bitch ass motherfucking cunt. Oh fucking. <laughs> I don't know he's... No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine, right? That was almost on the level of fucking... ...stuffing comment he made. Yeah... <laughs> I told you I'd get in your head! Monokuma Theater! Brought to you by Spike Junsoft Company Limited! Okay. Where are those things that... Oh, that's a that's a uh, full Easter egg for a future game. All right. Oh yeah. Just... What the hell? Is, what the hell is this? <laughs> what am I watching? Great Shadow Legends. Yes, this is Great Shadow Legends. I returned from the dead just to give you this bubble ad. Remote. Own send. Put it up, Brownie. Not putting it up. What do you mean? Oh god, god. it's back to Kuma. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> <That's so laughs> sucker. Sakura's Revenge, the game the world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been cancelled. Of course, they don't have people buy Danganronpa, who knows? They'll buy copies for you of all your friends. Will you ever make this? That's actually a pro- this is actually a prototype for, uh... Or Ultra Spirit Girls that uses the same engine. Oh my god. Okay, let's pause the game here. And because we gotta go eat, and we'll be back. That was an extra short. That was 12 minutes. Wow. I could just add it in like a part.